Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Charmaine. I do a mixture of curly hair content, except today, style and I guess motherhood chats, stuff like that. I don't think straight hair is for everyone. I'm not trying to be self-deprecating. That's just truly how I feel. Maybe I'll go back and watch this and think, hey, it's a vibe. I like it. But as of right now, I'm kind of like, mm, it's okay. It's okay. Nice little switch up, but I think the curls are a little bit more interesting on me or <laughs> exciting. I'm trying to figure this out. So this here is my first straight V part wig. I actually cut it. I, um, I, you know, installed it. But before I get to that, I'm going to walk you through my little attempt at doing an at home blowout using one of those blow brushes, the Revlon one that was, you know, viral for a long time. I'll admit it was a little bit, you know, of a learning experience. I think I can execute it a bit better with some of your tips. So leave them down below um, and, you know, help your girl out. I want to get better at this um, in case I do want to switch it up. Give me, give me your best tips in the comments below. Without any further ado and rambling, let's get into the video. Hey, so I have this sudden urge to straighten my hair. <laughs> um, I never, never do this. And to be honest, I am not, I don't think it's my ideal look. <laughs> I think curly hair looks more interesting on me, but I just have this urge. Now, I don't do this very often. And because I don't do it often, I've never really perfected doing it myself, but I want to, I want to, I want to be able to do it myself. I don't feel like it should be that hard because when I brush out my hair on a regular day or whatever, and say I just throw it in a bun, most of my curls kind of straighten out in a bit, in a way. Sorry, that didn't make sense. Um, so I'm just thinking in order to do it without using too much heat, let me start by brushing out my hair. I just freshly washed it, putting it in a bun and letting it air dry like that so that it's mostly prepped before I go in with, I have one of those, is it the Revlon brush, blow brush, whatever, I'm not even sure what it's called. <laughs> it was the one that was like viral and it, it was a decent price and all that stuff. So this is what I'm using had this since last year <laughs> um so i'm gonna spray in some of this this is the chi iron guard thermal protection spray it used to turn out really well and oh this smell is so nostalgic i haven't smelled this in so long <laughs> um and basically what i was gonna say is that i used to do it without any heat protectant whatsoever it used to turn out amazing but obviously i was damaging my curls um and i was using a different flat iron that has since died it was called sedu or sedu it's s-e-d-u it was like really good um in any case put that on and then I also have the Silk Infusion. It's like a little, it's an oil, but I don't know. Should I really put this on? Maybe what I'll do is I'll put the tiniest bit on the ends of my hair. Because as I said, like I cannot have too much product in my hair because my hair is on the fine side. So if I want this to turn out and have any kind of body whatsoever, can't weigh it down so I'm just gonna put this on my ends only now I'm gonna brush through my hair try and get it like that I let it dry as much as possible wig day I don't know okay part one of blowout at home blowout. Let's see how this goes.
about straight or it's pretty straight. It's not like bone straight, but straight enough. And I made a little section at the front here. And so what I'm gonna do is take some bobby pins and I'm actually going to twist my hair. Nothing fancy. Like one twist like that and make it as flat as I can. Like that. And I'm just gonna bobby pin this in just so it's out of the way. I don't know if it would just be peeking through the wig or not. This is fine. This is just me trying it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so here is the wig. So I was calling it a U part wig, but I guess it's a V part wig. It does look like a V, so. <laughs> I don't know if that's just what this brand calls it or in general it was always a V part wig and in my head I just thought it was a U part wig. I'm not sure, but in any case, this is how it looks. And I hope you can see that okay. We have some clips in the front. And then some combs. And the color is like a really dark brown. But in the light, it has almost like the slightest auburn sort of um, pieces. I don't even want to say highlights because it's like individual pieces. So it makes it a bit of a, a rich, dark brown. It is quite dark. Okay, so let's try it on. So that, you know, I don't get any like little bumpy, loopy things happening. This is really interesting to me because I have quite a big head. I'm just wondering how this would fit most people considering I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of cap or whatever. <laughs> so I'm using the side comb to secure it so that it's a bit flat there. And then I'm gonna use the other side comb. Kind of just, feel flat and secure and then the clips are at the front here it's actually like two clips put it hmm. just wanted to see how this works what we think of it I know I could do with a little tan Maybe if I put on a lip, we could get the full feel for it. Let's maybe try a lip. See this? So here, here's what I mean. Okay. So I was just going to go like this, but I can't because the wig comes all the way down here. Now I'm not complaining too much because, you know, like at least it, it covers my head because normally with the extensions, my problem is that the extension will like cover half of my head and then it's like long and then the edges are short so i have like to double up and stuff um so normally things are too small for my head so i'm just shocked because i'm thinking how does this fit an average size head or a small head <laughs> because my head's pretty big and it's a lot of cap as i said um because i'm trying to make it lay as flat as possible so yeah, overall, wow, I'm pretty impressed. I don't know if it's translating here, but when I look in the mirror a little bit further off, it looks really good. It looks really real, I should say. So let me try and throw on a little face, at least a lip, look a little more alive, <laughs> and we'll come back with the final verdict. Okay, so here's my little section that I created. And now I'm going to tie all of this back. I found that to be the best bet. Um, I know it's kind of silly that I did the whole blowout thing because I probably could have just let it dry and do this. But honestly, when I started this video, I wasn't sure which direction it was going. I'm kind of just playing around. And I also didn't know that the wig that I ordered was going to arrive in perfect timing. Okay, here we go. Sorry about any background stuff. Um, it's the only way I'm able to do this right now. <laughs> My son is playing a little game. 
So we did this last night when I did it again. I had more luck when I really focused on the top first rather than starting at the bottom. So that way I can really choose where I want my clips to line up. So I'm gonna start here. And there's a clip like right here. So I'm gonna put that in to hold it in place and keep it flat. And just push it down, just pops down. And then there's another clip right here. So there's two clips right here. We're just gonna put that down. Actually, I'm gonna bring this forward a little. Oh, by the way, I cut it. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention that. I cut it last night. I think this looks a little bit more like me, a little more fashion. Um, okay, let me just focus on this and then I'll show you the. Now we're gonna use the side clips to secure it a little bit. And now the back clip. Pull it down. Okay, so I think we're good now. Yeah, what I could tell is even if it feels like the weight cap is a little bit up, it's not looking like it. It actually it's just like volume. <laughs> so last night I literally just took scissors and went like this and did cut. Didn't even touch the back and it actually lines up. Just got lucky. And then I went like this and I went cut. <laughs> and I guess I could like do a little curl action if I wanted to, but um, for now, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And now we are going to figure out the bangs. So I'm probably gonna have to do a little flat iron to make it blend a little bit. Let me just part this in a mirror again. Okay, it is parted. I'm just warming up the flat iron. So I don't know if I'm doing like curl it out or curl it in. I don't really know. Yeah, I think that works. So I'm gonna try the other side. Just want it to blend in a natural way. It is weird for me not to have my bangs. I'm starting to realize your girl's aging. <laughs> well, I am almost 40, so if you didn't know that, surprise, surprise. Um, we age, and I don't do both have to anything, so you're going to see a lot of lines because I got a big forehead. <laughs> um, it just kind of struck me because my forehead is usually covered because I, I wear curly bangs all the time. Hello. Anyway, this is what it is. Yeah, I think this is the final look. Again, I could probably just do like a little curl action at the bottom. I'm not even about to pretend that I know how to do that because I never do this. Is it like that? I don't know. Um, but if I'm being honest, I like the little flip out. Like, you know that look? Let me not burn myself. Okay, let's just stop here. Let's leave good enough alone. So this has been my little tryout straightening adventure. Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm enjoying this um, the most. I'm not sure if I would do just my natural hair with the blowout as much now that I have this because this is gonna give me body <laughs> density that I don't have and I can keep my ends protected. So, you know, win-win. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just kind of playing around straight looks. I know that's not typical for me. I'm usually a curly girl, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to switch it up. I'm still gonna play with this, figure it out. Um, my bangs are probably not totally even because, you know, I cut my hair usually when it's curly. Um, so I just did a little, you know, side swoop here. And we're going to work it out. We're going to get used to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you in the next one. I'm trying to be consistent here. We're going to try and do Sundays. Um, eventually, it would be awesome to do Wednesdays and Sundays again. But, you know, your girl's pregnant. Got a five-year-old. 
doing the best we can <laughs> and i'm really active on instagram so if you want to see more of me you can follow me over there at charmzy and i will see you guys hopefully next sunday bye let me know what you guys think be nice it's my first time doing something like this okay <laughs> you don't have to lie to me you can be gentle <laughs> okay bye